you are welcome to the Messiah channel this is an end time channel and I thank all our members and I appreciate your comments I urge you to subscribe and also to share uh, the videos and the message we are an end time um, ministry and we are doing what is necessary to prepare the saints for the kingdom and that is coming and today our discussion is about uh, the rapture um, when you talk about the rapture uh, some people don't believe it um, some people say that the rapture is a scare a tactics that people use in order to force people to repent but if even if somebody uses a scare tactics in order to convince you to repent he is doing you a favor because in the last days your repentance and salvation will have more worth than silver and gold and so today um, we are discussing uh, the rapture is the rapture real and I would say yes the rapture is real I watched a video where the presenter was saying that the rapture is a man-made uh, doctrine the presenter is an African-American lady who uh, is doing a good job by preaching about awakening the Hebrew or the Hebrews and I think she's doing a very good job but I saw one of her videos where she said that the rapture is a man-made doctrine and the rapture, the rapture is not based on scripture and so I decided to do uh, this uh, video and for those who are Hebrews who are awakened I want to warn you that it is not every scripture um, or it's not every message uh, that by itself will help you you have to look at the scriptures in totality you have to look at messages in totality uh, the fact that a black person who calls himself or herself a Hebrew is telling you that the rapture is a man-made doctrine or a rapture was propounded by white people and so it's not a real doctrine um, you have to be very careful um, when you hear those messages so today I'm dedicating uh, this message to uh, the rapture the word rapture is not uh, in the Bible but that doesn't mean that because it is not in the Bible uh, it is not a real doctrine the rapture is based upon scripture and the scripture is found in first Thessalonians uh, chapter 4 reading from verse 16 uh, to um, 18 so let's look at what the Bible uh, is saying about uh, rapture first Thessalonians chapter 4 uh, verse uh, 16 for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout 
with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. To me the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. The scripture is the basis of the rapture, and the scripture is taken from the epistle of Apostle Paul, the epistle to the people of Thessalonica. And what we read from the Bible is very clear. And it talks about the protocol, the divine protocol of the coming of the Lord. The Lord himself shall descend. <clears throat> Normally the Lord sends angels, sends messages and messengers. But in this case, during the rapture, the Lord himself shall descend. He's not going to send an angel. The Lord himself descended on Mount Sinai on the occasion when he met Moses and the Hebrews. It will be a supernatural event. And so the Lord will come. Where is he coming from? He's coming from heaven, his dwelling place. The earth is the food stooled of the Lord. The heaven is his dwelling place. In the rapture, the Lord will come from heaven with a shout. And I don't know how the shout will sound. It will be more dangerous like, it will be more dangerous than thunder and lightning. It will be more louder than the sound of a nuclear Last, because it will be a shout and with the voice of the angel of God and with the trump, the trumpet of God. If you look at the Hebrew history, anytime there was a trumpet sound, it was an occasion the trumpet was to warn and to assemble the Israelites. It would be a trump of God and the voice of an archangel. And something will happen that day. The dead in Christ will arise from their graves have you seen it before? Yes, when the Messiah died and, we, and he arose, graves opened in Jerusalem and dead people came from the graves. And during the rapture, the same thing will happen when dead bodies will arise. It is not everybody who will arise during that period. It will be those who are dead in Christ. The saints who died doing the work of God, repenting of their sins and accepting the salvation that was offered freely to mankind through the shedding of the Holy Blood from our Messiah, the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, and the Bible is very clear. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up 
together with them in the clouds, in the heaven. The word caught up with them means that we join them. Caught up, what does it mean? It means you will be caught up. And if the word rapture doesn't capture that, there's no word in the Oxford English Dictionary that can capture it. And so I'm saying that the rapture is based on scripture. Are there any occasion when somebody was caught up into heaven? Oh yes, the man Enoch, because he was righteous man, he was taken into heaven and he did not see death. The scripture is saying that it's appointed unto man to die once and after that judgment in Hebrews 9.27. But the record is also very clear that Enoch was taken to heaven. The record is very clear that the prophet Elijah was taken to heaven. He was caught up into heaven. And the record is very clear in us chapter 1 verse 11 when Yeshua rose from the dead he was having a conversation with the men of Galilee. The men who were poor and oppressed. Galilee was the place where the ministry of Yeshua began. The message began among the poor and the oppressed, oppressed by the Romans. The outcast. They had the opportunity to get the message from the beginning. They also had an unbelievable opportunity to see the ascension of the Messiah into heaven. The scripture is very clear that on that occasion, the men of Galilee were, were watching the Messiah and they saw the Messiah taken into heaven with the clouds of heaven. And two men, angelic beings, appeared and asked them, Ye men of Galilee, why are you gazing up into the air? The same Jesus, the same Yeshua that you saw ascending into heaven will come again the same manner that he went. So the rapture of catching up is scriptural, is based upon the scripture. But I'm saying don't let anybody deceive you because there's a lot of deception. Some people say that the rapture will come before the tribulation. Some say it will come during the tribulation and some say it will come after the tribulation. As a prophetic commentator, I will not be able to tell you when the rapture will occur, whether it will come before the tribulation or in the middle of the tribulation or after the tribulation. What I can say is that I had a vision about the rapture in March of 2017 and so I want to tell you about the vision that I had. Uh, in that vision I slept around about 4 p.m. That's not the time that I normally sleep, 4 p.m. And then I had a vision where I saw a TV screen 
and the words rapture and tribulation were written on the screen dark screen with white writing and i saw tribulation and then the rapture i also had a voice a voice saying saint luke and apostle paul then i woke up so the lord was giving me a vision about the rapture and so when i speak to you and say the rapture is real first of all i'm relying on the scripture in first thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 to 17 the scripture is very clear the lord himself will descend from heaven he will shout with the voice of an archangel and the dead in christ will rise first they will be caught up in the air and those who are living and they are waiting and expecting the lord will also be caught up in the air if you want another scripture please read hebrews 9 28 what does it say it's saying that it is appointed unto the messiah to come the second time for those who are waiting on him Hebrews 9 27 says it's appointed unto man to die once and after that judgment and the next verse Hebrews 9 28 says it is appointed for the Messiah to come the second time for those who are waiting on him it's not coming for those who are pretty it's not coming for those who are rich it's not coming for celebrities heaven is not a celebrity game the lord is coming for those who are waiting on him and for those who are waiting on him it presupposes that you have the right garment it presupposes that you have repented it presupposes that you are accounted worthy to stand in the presence of the most high and so when i heard the name saint luke in my vision i remember the scripture in luke luke chapter 21 i believe uh, verse um, 28 or so saying that you must count you are said worthy to stand in the presence of the lord that's why those who are dead who are who died in christ they will be found worthy to stand in the presence of the lord that's why during the rapture they will be taken up from their graves and they will join the messiah in the air and so i want to let you know that the rapture is real I don't think the Lord will reveal to me a vision about the rapture if it is not real. And so if there's anybody preaching to you that the rapture is a, a man-made doctrine, is not real, it's not coming, that person doesn't know the scripture. That person doesn't have a revelation. I am speaking what i know as the apostle peter said he was with the messiah on the mount of transfiguration and moses and elijah appeared on the mount of transfiguration the apostle paul is writing about 
the rapture. It is what he was shown. It was a revelation given to him. And so if you don't believe in the rapture, it means you don't believe in the Bible, particularly the writings of Apostle Paul. You don't believe in it. But it's also a warning to, uh, to people there are so many people who believe in the rapture because they believe in what Apostle Paul said, yet the same people also believe in only what Apostle Paul says. There are a lot of people, particularly in the United States, who are preaching blasphemy, making videos that you don't have to repent and they are quoting paul they are making videos that once you are saved you are always saved it's a doctrine of demons and it's coming mostly from united states preaching as if the writings of paul is the only scripture in the Bible, preaching as if the teachings of the Messiah, Yeshua, is not even relevant. As much as you like Paul, you should not discard the totality of the gospel. By the way, the Old Testament is not irrelevant it is not irrelevant as false pastors are preaching the new testament has taken over and so there's no need to read the old testament that dichotomy between old and new is false we are on the rapture and my conclusion is that the rapture is real it will come life and based upon the vision that i had in march 2017 2017 the rapture and the tribulation will come at a time when a major event will happen in in the world i was very sad because when i saw the vision about the rapture and the tribulation i can't remember being told that the rapture will come after the tribulation or the rapture will come before the tribulation the vision i saw was the tribulation and the rapture and the mentioning of the name Saint Paul and um, uh, uh, Apostle Paul and Saint Luke, I, I, I heard their names being mentioned in the vision. So that is a conclusive evidence from me personally that the rapture is real. If, it's, if it is a doctrine that is de demonic the lord will not reveal to people about the rapture by the way there are so many people who have dreamt about the rapture so many people left and right from different countries it means that the rapture is real and so if you are watching this video anybody sends you a video and tells you the rapture is not real it is not biblical that person is a false prophet or a false prophetess or the person doesn't understand the Bible or the person has not had a revelation. Somebody may not be a false prophet because he says the rapture is not biblical. It's because probably he or she has not understood um, the scriptures.
and the Lord has not revealed to uh, to that person about uh, the scriptures. The rapture is real. Prepare for it. First Thessalonians chapter four, verse sixteen to seventeen talks about it. And the rapture is for those who are listed in Hebrews nine twenty eight. It is appointed unto the Lord to come, Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ, to come the second time. Coming for who? Those who are waiting on him. Are you waiting on him? If you are not waiting on him, then please don't, don't worry about the rapture. Um, the rapture is not to scare you. I understand some pastors don't preach about the rapture because they themselves are not prepared for the rapture. And so they wouldn't talk to you about it. They are not prepared. They are looking for money. They are chasing men and women. They have homosexual lifestyles. Their government is polluted. So they wouldn't talk about the rapture. They are not prepared. The rapture is real, please. It's based on scripture. It's also based upon revelation, in my own case, based upon a vision that I had in March of 2017. The rapture and tribulation are coming. By the way, if somebody tells you tribulation is not coming, the person is a false prophet. The person is a false prophetess. The tribulation is coming. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming. This channel is a prophetic channel. The name is Messiah Revelation Ministry. And so we preach with boldness and dedication yeah um we don't care whether you believe or not we only discuss things that are based upon what the scripture says and what is revealed we are in the end times when the last days the tribulation and the rapture they are coming when i had the vision that um the rapture and tribulation they are coming and will come after a major event i was wondering what event will be and during that time the u.s and the trump was preparing to um, deal with north korea and so i thought there was going to be american and korean war and i um i wonder I said, oh is that going is that going to be the war that will bring the rapture and the tribulation? Uh, in conclusion, now we say that the rapture will come, the tribulation will come, but a major thing that will happen um, that will trigger those events, uh, it will be an event that will be worldwide. I don't know whether it's going to be a war or, when, or it's going to be a disease. And so when the North Korean war didn't come, and we saw uh, the health uh, crisis in 2020. I thought that, oh, that's the event. The rapture also didn't come. Um, so what event will trigger the rapture? That is a mystery. You have to remember that the rapture is a time when the Lord himself will descend from heaven. It's a supernatural event. And when the rapture comes, you are finished. I'm finished. Because the Lord has come. And judgment has come. So we are very close. When you hear somebody talking about the rapture, he's talking about an end time event. That means redemption and condemnation. Because... 
for those who are raptured, those who are caught up, they will be saved. And for those who are not saved, it means that the wrath of God will come upon you. I have to repeat that I don't have any basis to say the rapture will come before the tribulation or in the middle of tribulation or um, after the tribulation because any uh, um, option that you pick you will get scripture to support that so I'm not saying when the rapture will come all that I'm saying is that the rapture is based upon scripture first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse uh, 16 to 18 the rapture is also real based upon prayer evidence of rapture of Enoch the rapture of Elijah and the rapture of the Messiah himself and it's also based upon a vision that I had in March of 2017 the rapture is real my email address is rapture africa at yahoo.com so now you understand why my email is rapture africa at yahoo.com because i believe in the rapture is based upon a revelation i had in march of 2017 uh, you can send videos to me your comments to me anything that uh, you want to share with me uh, we are brothers and sisters uh, you can send it to me through uh, rapture africa at yahoo.com small letters and prepare so that we will meet in the air we meet in there um, let me tell you it's possible it's possible that some of you watching the video will be caught up will not die why do i say that i say that because we are in the last hour a vision that i had on august 27 2013 says that the final trumpet of heaven has sounded. Um, one of us made the comment that you will not be surprised if the Lord pops up in the air in three years' time. Um, I will not set in a date, but for me, even if the Messiah comes tonight, I will not be surprised because in the vision that I had on August. 27, 2013, I was told that the final trumpet of heaven has sounded. And for those of you who have not heard about that vision before, in that vision, I was on a football field in a village where I went to school in Ghana for the first time. So I remember the, the football field. Somebody was behind me, and when I tried to look at who was behind me, I saw a man, and the man was wearing a white apparel, and he said, you must look for the angel who sounded the seventh trumpet. Uh, we do a video on the seventh trumpet, but um, uh, we are you are reminded that the rapture is real it will come so prepare for it thank you for this message